Week 11 PFR School Board on Lakeshore Public Television tonight. Scores and highlights from sectional semifinal high school football, Wayne, and uh, some big games tonight, and a couple really lived up to the billing of some great content. Boy, there, there were a couple out there that really, really went down to the wire. Outstanding uh, performances, and that's what sectional is all about. Yeah, it is. We told you uh, Lake Central Crown Point would be close, Maryville Portage would be close, Griffith Rensselaer would be a great game. And all those things came true tonight. We'll be right back with the highlights right after this on PFR School Board. Is your throat still sore? Yes. We're almost there. When you need a doctor, urgent care at Pinnacle Hospital. We have a network of physicians on site located at 9301 Connecticut Drive in Crown Point. Urgent care at Pinnacle Hospital. Who is the dark afraid of? His name is Tim. When you report a power outage, Tim and linemen like him respond to the call. Text OUT to 444-111 to report an outage. With your cell phone, when the power's out, power is still in your hands. A Flex Equity line from Tech Credit Union gives you convenient access to cash whenever you need it. This home equity loan features a low introductory rate and no closing costs. Tech Credit Union is an equal housing lender and is federally insured by the National Credit Union Administration. Learn more at techcu.org or call Tech Credit Union at 800-276-TECH. Programming on Lakeshore Public Television is provided by Strack and Van Til Food Market. Custom decorated cakes, breads, and baked goods right from the oven. Domestic meats and artisan cheeses in every store. Seven days a week, fresh is more than just a word. Strack and Van Til, built around you. School board on Lakeshore Public Television, sectional semifinal week. And Wayne, we get us started with the dueling conference matchup, great rivalry game, Lake Central and Crown Point. You know, the first time they played this this year, it was a low scoring game, right. I think 17 to 3 in favor of Crown Point. Another really good defensive effort on both sides. Yeah, and tremendous defense by Crown Point all season long, more often than not and another great performance by them tonight. Let's go to the highlights. LC and Crown Point at the hub in a great rivalry matchup. Bulldogs coming on the field, Wayne. Their offense has improved since the opening week or two of the season, uh, but their defense has been their staple, but they have been getting better quarterback play uh, from Link. Will, but I don't think he played tonight. Okay. I don't think that Grayson and Link play. Uh, they had a second, uh, their second string quarterback in. I don't know if there was an injury or whatever, but he okay. played fairly well. I thought that was 19 on that first throw. That's why I was thinking that was him, but maybe uh, he left the game early. We had uh, some, another, we've had a few guys get hurt tonight that uh, were factors in games. Beautiful screen there to the right side, setting up. Shane McCormick with the catch. Tyler There's Gomez, interception. that's nice. Nick Lucas. Nick Lucas has been hot. Boy, has he lately. ever been hot. He's had a tremendous second half of the year here. And then LC running out of trouble with Anthony Giles right there, but Crown Point would come back. Ryan Bolda on the run there, but not, not much there for him. Here's LC. Crown Point got the, the early lead in this game with an early field goal. Their kicker's been outstanding, uh, Frederick. Here's Giles again. Nice open field tackle, or that would have been a big run. Cole Rainwater there for Lake yeah. Central getting on the board. But it was Crown Point that scored the only big, well, a couple big scores tonight. And the Bulldogs win for the second time over their rival, Lake Central 10-6. Tremendous defensive effort. 
And uh, it'll be crown point to draw the winner of Maryville. And of course, we'll have that game coming up shortly. But first, Munster Highland, another sectional semifinal tonight. A game that Munster really embarrassed Highland in earlier this they year. Did. In a big rivalry game after Munster had uh, had a couple losses and Highland was off to that great start. And, uh, you know, Highland had to come in with a you know, chip on their shoulder, and they did. They played very, very well right. in that first half. They did. Let's go to the highlights, Mustangs and Trojans. Here is Munster again. First game was on the road at Highland, second game on the road at Highland. Yep, uh, Danny Stanley there on the carry for Munster. Highland actually got off Wayne to the uh, good start in this game. Yes, they did. Scoring the first touchdown of the ball game. This is Jumanville. A nice pass completion. Jumanville has been such a steady yes, influence for Munster. Stanley playing well. He was hurt last week and he came back right. and tonight and did an excellent job running the ball. Well, a beautiful throw down the middle. Is that that was Mata. Yeah, okay. Angel Mata who threw me past. This is Mata again on a beautiful oh, throw. Oh, tipped. Nice. Tipped, tipped away beautifully. Right. This was tied at eight once Munster scored. And now the Mustangs would take over and open up this game. Jumanville with the fake and the rollout. Oh, but a beautiful defensive play there by Highland. You know, uh, Highland, uh, Andy Karstensen uh, played very well early in the first half, but uh, Munster's defense really started to stiffen after the uh, halftime. In fact, I think Munster scored first after the, in the second half and just kind of started to roll there. Yeah, Stanley, boy, you're right, Wayne. He got a lot of the work tonight. Big, big, oh, beautiful tackle there on the screen pass as the Munster defense stepped up. And yeah, it looks like Jumanville scored there. Nice cut back. Boy, Munster has had, in the regular season, they've had Literally. flashes, Wayne, and if they can put, if they can cut down on their mistakes, you know, put some, put some air-free football together, uh, they could make a run. Obviously, oh, yeah. with a big matchup down next week for a uh, sectional championship. A huge matchup next week. That's going to be really a classic. If Munster can stay away from you know, turnovers and penalties. They yeah. have the team that really could, you know, play well and win that one. Beautiful open field tackle, as you saw him uh, concentrating on Jalen there uh, on that screen pass. And Munster goes on for a nice win, 36 to 15. They'll play the winner of Lowell and Morton. All right, the other 6A showdown was a battle of two teams that had the week off last week. Munster and Portage, the Pirates Maryville. and the Indians, or excuse me, Maryville and Portage. <laughs> Got Munster on my mind. Maryville and Portage in a rematch of a very close game earlier this year uh, that the Pirates survived and held on to at Portage. That's right. We'll see what happened tonight. Pretty similar game to yeah, early, really earlier this season, Wayne. Yep. Uh, Maryville gets a... Um, oh, you got to love Anthony Masale. He, yes. He dodged the cameraman yeah. for us right there. <laughs> Way to go, Anthony. He's, in, he's been all area on the field. He's all area coming out of the locker room. And a big <laughs> special teams play there, Wayne. Yes. The block punt, and it was huge to, uh, safety early for Maryville. That's right. And, you know, Poindexter there, nice run for him for Maryville. Their quarterback, their second string quarterback, Maryville's, played very well tonight. I really thought there that the, having a week off for him of practice would be a big benefit for Maryville, as we talked last night. And then the fact that Laporte uh, the big win over Laporte for Portage might have hurt their momentum last week. Yep. But a special teams mistake, Poindexter getting in the end zone. But as they've done the last two years, Portage just continues to fight back and play. Yep, they played very, very well. They had it towards the end, and then Maryville came up and uh, made a big play at the end of the game to win, near the end of the game to win it. There's a turnover there on a great hit, but the Pirates get it back and fall on it. 
You know, the name that we didn't hear much uh, was Maceo, uh, the quarterback, Anthony. I mean, he played well, but um, it seemed like Merrillville kind of had a good defense against him. Yeah, they might have been spying on him or doing something because he makes a lot of plays off a of scramble. Here's a nice pass from Jackson right there. That's their backup quarterback. Yeah, Jackson uh, with some poise in the pocket there. Here, they're, they're, here's Maceo, they're scrambling after him, right. trying to track him down, but he has a big, big run big here. Run there. Yeah, there's a big play for you inside the 20. And then off the fake, he's going to try to run it again. Nice yeah. cutback. Look at that. There's some, well, you, he heard you, Wayne. Yeah, he must have. <laughs> <laughs> he heard you looking for him to make a big play, and he made a couple right there. There's some trenches running. Here comes the kickoff to the Pirates. These two teams are just very even. Very yep, even. They're very, very even. Nice little uh, reverse there. Run up the middle. Merrillville did not turn the ball over much. Point no. Dexter again. Well, you know, you can see how, you can see by these highlights some conservative play call. Yes. He's giving it to Point Dexter between the tackles, not trying to do too much. Uh, maybe cut down the playbook a little, especially after they got that early score and the early uh, um, safety. And uh, could have been the Pirates maybe uh, getting conservative, going between the tackles, running the ball, holding on and winning 22-21. So they will play uh, Crown Point uh, next they week. They will host Crown Point next Friday night. Let's go to the scoreboard, shall we, for week 11 of the high school football season. Check out some of the scores. It was the Slicers being held to 17. Boy, I'm surprised at this one. Yeah. Uh, well, Chesterton's defense with a week off yeah, put together an right. uh, outstanding scheme and an outstanding effort tonight. Penn beats Valpo. Penn is just very, very Penn tough. Is Penn. Yes. Michigan Mich City, this one was like uh, yeah. 49 to 14, and all of a sudden right. it went, went 49. Explain that one to me, Wayne. I have no idea. <laughs> did they what call they off the doing? dog? Did they turn the, the baseball game on? I don't know if they were. <laughs> did, did they have TVs on the Michigan City <laughs> sideline? I don't know. I don't they, know. Have, they might have turned it on. All right, elsewhere. Uh, yes, Mishawaka big uh, over South Bend Adams. And uh, Lowell big over Morton, 42 9 to 2. Unbelievable. Lowell's rolling. He, they are. I, is anybody complaining about those losses earlier? No, I, I don't think so. No. I hey, don't folks, think so. Those were 6A teams that were That's playing. That's right. Okay? That's They're not right. playing any. There's no 6A teams left on the schedule right. for Lowell. <laughs> okay? And great one down at Rensselaer. Great Griffith. one. Griffith comes back after being behind. Rensselaer dominating. Chuck DeMoss was uh, on the line for us, and he was, you know, they were saying that uh, Rensselaer really overpowered Griffith early in the first mm. half. But then in the second half, Griffith came up. Fred Winston really yeah. had a big night tonight. On 89.1 FM, our uh, radio station there with uh, Lakeshore Game Night, he was reporting from there. So if you next week want to hear that, turn it in, turn it on at 6 o'clock. Mishawaka Marion, huge over Hanover. Great night for Hanover Central. I guess Marion's got a Division I running back. Yeah. That looks pretty good. Yeah. Uh, and uh, great, great year for Hanover. Yes. They were up against a very dominant team tonight. We're outrushed about 4-1. to one and. Um, 9-0 conference championship, first ever sectional win. A groundbreaking year for uh, Hanover. Yeah, it really was. A great, great season. And this should not diminish any of no. that. They had a great season. Big road win for Whiting. They go down to North, yes. North Newton, win 21-12. And Knox uh, keeps on rolling over River Forest, 12-7. That'll be an interesting one next week, yep. too. You know, that's a heck of a Knox. performance by River tonight. Yeah. Uh, that, that uh, they, they have really played well the last few weeks. Yep. After that big win over Lake Station, um, you know, uh, Pioneer shutting out Lake Station. Pioneer and uh, Penn are uh, in uh, different levels. A little bit of a shocker there, Wayne, with the Jays. Yeah, Jays. I was surprised. I mean, South Central only had, I think, three losses on the season, and uh, the Jays had struggled, and this was an upset. This North was Judson an upset. got up early and was able to hold on. Yep, and Holbert dominated. You know, that Holbert uh, and New Prairie game well, the next week. Yeah. Well, and, 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 you know, we'll talk more about it Thursday, but um, it's been a long time since Holbert's won a sectional. Yep. 
and uh, they got a great opportunity uh, next week against a really good football team. Oh gosh, yes. But they've got a chance to uh, got a chance to win a sectional title. I haven't done it uh, since before the year 2000, okay. since Coach Hall was there. So a huge, huge opportunity for them next Friday night. We will take a timeout when we come back. We will check out the game of the night. It's coming up next on PFR Scoreboard. on everything prep football, visit us on Facebook or on Twitter at PFR Sports. Wow. Is it over? We're back on PFR School Board on Lakeshore Public Television. Our game of the night, Wayne and Dran at the Prairie. Heard from Coach Radke, Coach Skinner last night. And uh, this one lived up to an outstanding billing as well. It sure did. Uh, New Prairie got on the board early and uh, Andrain didn't give up. They took that into the fourth quarter and finally New Prairie uh, played very, very well in the second half. Let's check out some of the highlights. New Prairie and Andrain and some Nicholas Wilson, I guess, is uh, going to be carrying the ball a lot for the Prairie here. That's the quarterback. their quarterback, yep. yeah. And they run that uh, flex bone and that option. He even made a few nice passes, but uh, Andrean did a nice job of pressuring him. Once he's out of the pocket, he is very good at running. Yeah, it looks like he's got some good protection there, too. There's a nice hit. Two teams very familiar with their schemes to themselves. Oh, that was a beautiful throw and a yeah, some poor some tackle tackles, in there. Right. As they let him get through, that's Garrett Ruiz with the reception and the run. He had a nice night uh, for New Prairie. A lot of this looks like it's quarterback Reed, Wayne. Yeah. He, he's kind of looking where the defense is soft, maybe in running or calling something at the line of scrimmage. That was a nice run where he went between the, the center and the guard, it looked like, uh, into the end zone for the touchdown. Emilio Starks with a catch there for Andrean. Here's a nice run coming for Ruiz. Boy, that's a beautiful one. <laughs> he just went right up the middle. Wow, he's got Untouched. speed. Yes. Here's Tylee Ryan for Andrean. Reardon on the keeper. I think the Prairie got out to a 14 nothing lead early yep. in this game. Andrean came back in the second half and made it a ball game. Reardon, he can roll to his left nicely and throw. We've seen that this year. And then when New Prairie gets the lead, they're just going to try to run the ball. Yeah, they're just going to put it in, on the ground and uh, keep it there and not pass very much. That was another nice run by Nichols Wilson. Nice tackle. Good defense, yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty good Nice hit. little sweep there into the end zone. And now there's the, the pressure. On there comes the pressure. You know, two teams that score a lot, but it was New Prairie's defense yeah. that didn't give up much to them. Right, they really played well and uh, constantly put pressure, uh, were able to contain Reardon. So next week, it, it could, uh, we're thinking it's at Hobart next week? Yeah, Hobart, uh, New Prairie at Hobart. There's some more defensive pass rush. Uh, Hobart will present problems for New Prairie just because of the weapons they've got. Yeah. We don't have highlights of Hobart tonight, but I know that Brandon James had a huge night just from watching. Yeah, he had a couple of long touchdowns. Uh, Wolf, the quarterback, is playing very well. But um, Zanola, Jared Zanola, uh, last year's starting quarterback, now is a receiver running back for um, Hobart. And boy, he has really opened up and played well. Nick Ray had a good game. Yeah, they've got weapons. Yes, they do. They've got weapons, this Hobart. And their defense has been solid. They're 9-2, yes. uh, split the conference championship. 
So a huge game for them next They're week. They're another team that, you know, you talked about Lowell and, you know, who was criticizing Lowell early on. Holbert started the same way, and then all of a well, sudden. Well, they only lost to Laporte, though. Right. I, I think, uh, uh, I think you know, I, I don't think they were, the, the Holbert thing was as bad as the Lowell thing where people yeah, were, were, that's true. were getting really frustrated with yeah. Lowell early. Right. In the season after they had lost to two 6A schools, you know. Um, Hobart, you know, it's been pretty solid all year long. Uh, obviously, Laporte's the top team in the area, it looks like. Um, and they, so that was no right, no big shame That's losing true. to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go to the scoreboard. We've got random and fire scores tonight on Lakeshore Public Television on PFR scoreboard. Crown Point defensive again. It'll be the Pirates and the Bulldogs. One of the region's great rivalries at Demery Stadium. Another year for a sectional title with Maryville and Crown Point. That'll be a good one, and it'll be a defensive battle. I think Laporte's hosting Penn next week. Yes, next they Friday are. Night. Yes, they are. So the and Slicers, uh, uh, I think Coach Sharp, of course, uh, coached uh, with his father over there at Jimtown. Got to be familiar with Penn. Oh, and yeah. A lot of the things they, oh, they do. Yeah. I'm sure he's watched them for years. So we'll see how Laporte matches up with Penn next week. The Kingsman 35 to seven over Valpo. Michigan City uh, plays uh, Mishawaka, I believe at Mishawaka next week. And uh, Michigan City has the offense that can play, but Mishawaka is pretty darn good. Mishawaka is very good, but I, I, you know, this is a barometer game for Michigan City. Right. What a year it's been for City uh, to be playing for a, a sectional title is great for them on the road against an established program. I think this is a great I experience agree. for them I agree. in Coach Mason's first year. Lowell and Munster may be one Lowell's of our better right. games next week. Lowell's uh, rolling right now. They Lowell's. are. And, and Munster's playing well. Yes, they the are. Chicago victory pretty, and then Highland there. Two pretty clean games That's in a row. Right. Uh, the Bricks, very impressive tonight very with their impressive. offense. Against uh, a decent KV defense. That's right. You know, KV's defense has had some good nights this year. That's right. And but Hobart has just got so much they do. Uh, depth and balance on offense. And you've got uh, balance on offense, yeah. boy. You can't just defend the run or the pass. You know, that makes it very difficult to prepare for them. That's right. That's um, right. And, and New Prairie can put points on the board very quickly, as we saw in the highlights. Right. Uh, Griffith, a huge win for them, and Coach Geffert. So they will have obviously a tough matchup with Mishawaka Marion. And then uh, the game we've pointed toward, Knox and Whiting, yep. uh, will be a big one. That will be another week. big one. And Pioneer and the Jays. Wow. Yes. That's a rough matchup. That is. That is. <laughs> anybody anybody <laughs> against Pioneer in 1A is going to be a rough matchup. Yeah, I don't think they have a close game the whole year. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll see. Uh, Whiting's root for Pioneer to stay in one Yeah. <laughs> we don't want them winning and, and moving up. All right. So big games next Friday night. We'll be back Thursday with another edition of PFR. Some great matchups, Wayne. What's our big game of the night next week? You know, I, I really think um, the Holbert New Prairie game would be a good one. Yeah. But you know, Lowell and Munster, I mean, you know, two teams that have kind of struggled early and then all of a sudden come on strong and stuff. Um, I think the Hobart uh, New Prairie game should be the all game right. there. But that's just one vote. We'll talk. Okay. We'll, see. <laughs> we'll talk. We'll see if you get vetoed after the show tonight. <laughs> <laughs> um, don't forget another edition of Lakeshore Game Night on 89.1 FM, the Lakeshore next week as well. We'll see you Thursday for PFR on Lakeshore Public Television. Is your throat still sore? Yes. We're almost there. When you need a doctor, urgent care at Pinnacle Hospital, we have a network of physicians on site located at 9301 Connecticut Drive in Crown Point. Urgent care at Pinnacle Hospital. Who is the dark afraid of? His name is Tim. When you report a power outage, Tim and linemen like him respond to the call. Text OUT to 444-111 to report an outage. With your cell phone, when the power's out, power is still in your hands. A flex equity line from Tech Credit Union gives you convenient access to cash whenever you need it. 
This home equity loan features a low introductory rate and no closing costs. Tech Credit Union is an equal housing lender and is federally insured by the National Credit Union Administration. Learn more at techcu.org or call Tech Credit Union at 800-276-TECH. Programming on Lakeshore Public Television is provided by Strachan Van Til Food Market. Custom decorated cakes, breads, and baked goods right from the oven. Domestic meats and artisan cheeses in every store. Seven days a week, fresh is more than just a word. Strachan Van Til, built around you. Captioning for PFR and PFR Scoreboard is provided by Voice to Print Captioning, LLC. Wardrobe for PFR and PFR Scoreboard provided by Gosser Corporate Sales Incorporated. Custom embroidery, screen, and digital printing. Further support provided by Fahrenheit 212 Restaurant and Bar.